My name is Maya Tavanati, and I'm an artist. I grew up in an artist family, and yet when I grew up, first day of high school, my art teacher told me, take French, don't take art, it'll be better for your future, even though it was my family business. I moved to California when I was 19 to go to art school. I've built a 35-year career in the arts. When I won Art Prize in 2011, I was able to start my foundation, and that's how I started the Power of Words project. That's where the original funding came from. It's really important in these projects to share my experience and share my knowledge of this massive industry in the arts and to be an example for the young people and for the locals so that when somebody tells them they shouldn't, couldn't, or wouldn't pursue their career in the arts, I want to be that one person that says, yes, you, you can and you should do this. And this will, you know, this will be the love of your life. We're in front of the play mural in Gladstone. It was nominated and elected by the community by about 500 locals. The importance of these murals is that they inspire people. They change the tone of the space. They bring color and light and joy to the locals. So people have elected these words as their themes and I designed the murals. And so I bring that word to life with monumental art and it reinforces the word. So every time they see it, in this case, play, it makes them smile. And you know, over time that has an effect on the community. I would say my favorite part of these murals and these projects is working with the, my young scholarship students. It's, uh, it's quite entertaining to watch them go from fear of climbing scaffolding to their confidence levels just go through the roof and it's very empowering for them. I partner with communities to help revitalize the historic downtowns and to build community engagement through the arts. We invite them into our process from voting for the theme to even helping design. And then the students and local artists work with us. And it's a community building exercise. It helps to invigorate the space, which can invite cultural tourism. It can motivate local business people to do more for their own facade. It's a big reach, but we do all of the above. Every mural is different. So once I get the word, I design the mural. In this case, because there are people in the mural and the theme is play, I wanted to use local people. So I had the community help me to form a list of, you know, what, what is it that makes you want to play more here? Because the word is actually, it's a word that defines their vision for the future of their community. It's what they want to see more of in their community, not one that describes their community. I had done a design and, and once I was here I started identifying locals that had the different interests, everything from knitting and crocheting to kite surfing and I was able to do either photo shoots myself or work with local photographers who had images of locals. So I would say 90% of the people on the wall are actually from this town. You know, it evolved over the, over the whole process. I didn't come here with this done. I've, I've just, it's been one piece at a time. So the Power Birds Project is a humanitarian mural campaign with a large art prize grant that came through QPAD. I was able to expand out of Iron Mountain, and this is the eighth one. This is actually the, currently the largest mural in the UP. The funding for these come from grants, from Art Place, from Michigan Economic Development Corporation, and from fundraising through Patronicity. So we have local sponsors, we have people donate money, um, which pays for all the materials. And we also did uh, some fundraising to, to meet out our, the rest of our goals. And so we have money from local donors, uh, a lot of business sponsors that have come forward to pay for lunches for my teams. We have hosts who host the visiting artists, and that's a really big ticket item. And, and it's the generosity of the community has come forward. It's a grassroots effort. A lot of people have given to this. It's not only a community effort, but it's, it's a blend. So I basically, I bring a team of visiting artists from different places around the country, and that way we can expand our reach. I have an international reach. And then I give scholarships to local students and grants to local artists. And we work side by side in kind of a mentor, apprentice uh, situation. And that's really important to this project is that whole, you know, sharing of experience and, and um, helping these young people to see what it takes to create and what it takes to, you know, pursue a career in the arts and all the different avenues. So we have a lot of great conversations. A lot of my uh, scholarship students end up going to art school and they are given wonderful grants because they have the experience of working on these murals, which is a really, really rare opportunity. And they have a blast. I mean, uh, it gets to the point where I can't even get rid of them. <laughs> so it's, um, I'm really grateful to the, lo the local artists and, the, and all the students. They work really hard and they do great work. <laughs>